Memories last a lifetime. Good evening, I'm Scott Eisberg. A lifetime ago for Jim Milnes, but the Olympic flame of memories still burns bright. Unfurling patriotism, synonymous with this time of year, every four years. And that's one of the big core things that the Olympics is about, is bringing cultures together peacefully and happily. This day and age, we need that. And Somerville's Jim Milnes happy to expertly bear the torch of that conversation. You know, people always look at me and they go, why didn't you ever tell me? I said, well, you don't walk into a room and say, hey, everybody, just want you to know I'm an Olympic medalist. <laughs> because almost 50 years ago, the guy who now walks with a slight limp after knee replacement was gracefully waltzing to bronze in Innsbruck, along with his partner, Colleen O'Connor, the first Americans to ever medal in ice dancing. It's such an emotional high that the only thing that came equal to it uh, was the birth of my first child, that, that being that moment you first hold them, it was that emotional. The bond of a partnership falling short of gold to the Russians that year, these two, the only two Americans on that ice dancing podium though, for the next 30 years. I thought of my partner sort of like my sister. Uh, you know, did I love her? Absolutely. <laughs> did I want to kiss her? Not really. Uh, <laughs> but uh, she was she was just the greatest person and we each still in touch today. So when flowers are collected from the ice, how does Flower Town, South Carolina, enter the picture? Well, the easiest way to answer that is Millie, Camden, and Ben, my three grandkids that are in this area. So, but yeah, South Carolina is great and you end up, uh, skating's in my blood. I cannot stay away from an ice rink no matter what. It's one of my favorite rinks and I've been in thousands of rinks. Uh, if you look at the number of people that have come to this rink to train, it's that long list. Vincent Zhao, uh, Nathan Chen, uh, Mariah Bell, those are all on our current Olympic team and the greatest in the world. And they used to skate here, so so the opportunities are here. He knows firsthand, and you bet he'll be watching Beijing next week from the comforts of Berkeley County. Finally tonight, the College of